so this is the anti station the anti tram stop and as you can see there are a tram going on the ground now and I will enter it now Look, yeah. yeah, these are some teenage people. She has a crazy. So Germany as well. They don't know what. They are the young. So, and here we are now. Under the ground. You can see this. It's a bit cold. So, we are on the ground now. You can see it. So this tunnel goes on the ground to the central station. Uh, so the people going inside. And it's getting more and more full. And this is the problem. So you can see it's pretty full. Yeah, it's a pretty full train. you really had to watch your things it's not well it's like in London you had to watch your belongings anytime you had to watch the people who are going crazy sometimes this is very important and you had to pay attention for people who are a bit crazy or let's say who are gaga because these people exist here as well there are no excuses in fact of the UK and in fact of the Republic of Ireland as you can see the tram is going underground So these are very nice. The stairs are going up. Yeah, that's great. Some people are really, really gaga. Really gaga. You won't find any work from it. But as you, if you're visiting this country, you will be wondering sometimes about the people. Because the people 
and not acting normally well it's not normal sometimes what they say and what they think so be warned be warned so here we are now at the central station and as well you must pay attention to your belongings you must pay attention to your belongings because here are people and here are pickpockets here are people and here are pickpockets here are people and pickpockets I know in Greece, in Greece they stole everything. They stole everything. I had to run for my, my money, I had to run for my belongings. It was... I couldn't believe it. A EU country, a EU country and you can't feel safe in Greece. It's embarrassing. It's disgusting. It's disgusting for Greece. It's disgusting. The people are so nice in Greece, but the security... No. No. It's better to to leave your your cash in the hotel in Greece. It's incredible dangerous. Greece is really it's so dangerous. Not at the airport, but if you go further. So here we have a glass construction from the central station so and I will go now I will go out I will go out I want to go out. Again, you had to watch the people and belongings. Yeah, it's uh, in Germany. It's really, <coughs> it's really. Um, so you had to pay attention for your own because nobody would pay attention to your belongings. Nobody. It's just your problem. If your if uh, yeah if you if your things are lost it's your problem. I had it in Greece. The Greece police it was incredible. The Greece police looked at looked at me and they said, well, your things are away, your everything is away. Then you had to, to get a EU pass. And I said, yes, I had to go a, get a EU pass because otherwise I can't go home. I can stay in Greece. Oh my God. And I don't have everything in Greece. So what would you do? What are you going to do? I asked the Greece police. And they said, well, you had to, to get a, 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 another EU document, blah, blah. And I said, yes. And how much will it, do I have to pay for it? And that's interesting. Because in Greece, you had to pay a lot for it. 
<clears throat> it was 60 euro just for a document that I could leave the country. So in Greece you had to pay 60 euro. It's incredible. 60 euro. Greece is not cheap. Greece is not cheap. It's not a cheap country. So if you are going to travel to Greece, you had to take enough money. Because otherwise, you would be lost. You don't have much money in Greece. You will be lost. Greece is expensive. Greece is expensive. Definitely. Okay, it's it's um, it's like Ireland. Yeah, the prices are like in I uh, like Ireland. So here you can go down. You will have shops. A bit like in Birmingham, a bit like in Birmingham, yeah, the UK, uh, yes, and you had to uh, as, um, take a distance from other people as well, because as you know, uh, we have COVID as well, so you had to keep distance from other people. I know no one wants to know it, no one wants to wants to hear it. We have it since one over one and a half year. But yeah. Corona is really really annoying, definitely. So okay. This is what's going on at the place yeah at the place with the people many people because it's good weather so they are going out like in Ireland they are going out yeah they are going out so but in Germany it's uh, there are not more young people than in the Republic of Ireland because the country is so big and you have 80 million people 80 million people it's a lot isn't it so this is uh, this is the building uh, I don't know why they yeah. build it like this. <laughs> it's a bit uh, a bit crazy because as you can see you put the sun away with this building because there is the sun and there is the building so you put the sun away with it. You put the sun away. It's a bit gaga because the people want the sun but anyway it's gone it's gone because of this shitty building the sun is gone how gaga is that look this building and no sun no sun nothing pig and kloppenburg a German clothes store is there and the sun is gone. Then you will have this, yeah, e-scooter, like in every European country, it's nothing new anymore, it's nothing new. You will have it in France, in Greece, in Spain and Italy and so on. So these, these are, uh, this is the, the new opera house. Yeah, it's not like in Australia or in Sydney. But it's okay. It's an older building. 
and it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. It's not, it's not glamorous. Yeah, it's not like uh, Los Angeles rock and, uh, and um, it's not like Los Angeles Walt Disney Hall. This is, of course, it's not, and it's also not uh, um, King's Cross like in London. Uh, this is. Uh, you can't compare it, but uh, it's okay. It's for this city, it's okay. So here's a construction work. I think they are going to do something. Something as well. So I will go into a bookshop now. And then I will go under the ground. <laughs> 